I will never get over this view. Just so stunning and the sky is so blue. Okay. So we've got the I've forgotten what this is called. It's a muesli ball or something. Oh like muesli ball, quinoa and then the fruits. Yeah. We're here. So we are at the water park, guys. I'm obviously not gonna be able to record on this because no. I'm not getting her wet. I am gonna see if I can get like a foam case in there that I can cover this because I forgot my one at home. Yeah. We are now at the water park guys. I bought a foam case that's waterproof and we're looking for the lockers. Some of them are full. It's already busy here. So we're walking around trying to find lockers that are empty that you have to pay for obviously. All four of our family members stuff fit in one locker. These are the prices if you're wondering. So you can get like one big one. We fit all of our four stuff and we bought change of clothes, shoes. We put our shoes Jeez, in there the as well. Wow guys. That was purely exhilarating, absolutely tantalizing and exciting. Okay, that was a 10 out of 10. That first one, oh my god, you feel like you're gonna drown. The oxygen goes, it vacuums you down, and then your slide one, it is going get me a wedgie. That's how fast it was going. Oh my goodness, I recommend you come here definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a pee floating around, feeling like a poo. <laughs> this is how pee was flow in the sea. I love water and I was living my best life in this water park. I was living my childhood dream. I was enjoying it so much and you were too. <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously. Did you just see that? I embarrassed myself in front of everyone but it was so funny. I had a good laugh with someone else but Honestly, I didn't even know I could swim until this day because this is when I was properly trying to swim, hold my breath. I had the goggles, which really did help. I feel like before I didn't have the goggles and I wasn't having a good experience swimming. But this day, I swam every day after it. Just about to eat. We're just eating at the restaurant. There's so many around this area. So we went to the pool. Girl, I was screaming so much, my throat is dry. I need to definitely eat something. But look how nice the restaurant is. This is the front. We are gonna go on this one. This one's the most exciting. It's called the boomerang swing. And you have to take this green double one. And you can only do a double. I've only seen people do a double. Yeah, this one is the most Funnest one. You can see the people coming round. One second. 
need to rest. Frickin' heck, man. It's so frickin' heavy. water park and yes I have my towel on my head because there's no hair dryers or anything but the changing rooms are really good so that's a good thing like they're clean they're spacious I like that they have someone coming in regularly to clean up and we are done like we've been here since what time what time have we been here? Well. We've been here since 12 and now it's 4 o'clock so you can spend all day here there's like a beach park so guys we are back from the water park and i'm now gonna go get a manicure and a pedicure and i'm just walking up to the place i'll show you how it is let you know how they are later maybe show you some of the procedures i'm running late so i'm so wetting as I'm walking and I hate being late I never really run late honestly I don't I don't promise guess where I am in my bed <laughs> I was meant to go out to eat after the manicure, pedicure, massage, spa thing, babes. One minute of sleep and I will literally be conked out till the next day. I did too much today. I'm trying to be a do it all babes. But I can't. It's around like 10 o'clock and I woke up at 6am. I think that's my problem of jet lag anyway this is my manicure it's so cute it's coming off like lilac i don't know why but it's pink the little baby hurts very cute very cute and i got my toes done as well probably gonna order some food but today overall amazing day like it was the funnest day for me because if you don't know about me i love water like activities anything with the water i'm gonna be involved i just find it so relaxing but fun at the same time it's like best of both worlds rather than doing like excursions like like loads of walking don't ever ask me to do a hike or a walk I will be not there, thank you very much. So I Ubered yesterday when we were in the rice field. It was so hard for me. Not because, just because that day, oh, it was just the rice field. We were walking for like three hours in the zoo as well. And then obviously we had to end the day with that. And the temperature increased so much. It was 30 degrees, guys. London, we haven't seen 21 degrees in a long time, yeah? That's summer for us. So imagine walking and hiking. And, do you know what it felt like? You're on a Stairmaster. <laughs> Stairmaster, yeah. And it's 30 degrees. <laughs> You're absolute nutter. So yeah, I, I felt... It was good, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that, like, compared to today, like, yesterday i just felt like today was better in terms of like the activities for me personally because i'm a lazy girl okay i'm glad i got the manicure and pedicure so i got manicure and pedicure and it was basically 25 was it 25 pound and i got a design that's why 25 pound each for everything you tell me where you can get a manicure. Oh, I didn't get manicure and pedicure, sorry. I got manicure, pedicure and 
a foot massage and a like foot spa treatment so it's not just manicure and pedicure it's that as well try to check that in london i'll give you zero p if you find that i'll see you tomorrow we're gonna have a relaxed day tomorrow is our last full day i'm very sad i don't want to think about it but nevertheless everything good has to come to an end for you to appreciate it i'll see you Bye.